Hello everybody, it's me, Ulster, and we're playing Ace Att Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, the first game. So, I never played this game, but I only heard interesting things about it, so let's dive right into the new game. Play this game, Justice for All, All Trials, and Tribunals. So I guess this is the first, oh yeah, yeah, yeah this is the first one. Let's go. Episode 1, the first turnabout. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I guess I, I guess I play that. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm excited. Look, it looks so cool. Oh, damn. First steps. <gasps> Oh. This starts. Damn it, why me? I can't get caught, not like this. I've got to find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. Okay. I make it look like he did it. Maybe I have to change this. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number 2. Okay. Boy, I am nervous. Boy, am I nervous. Okay, yeah, yeah it's okay. Can't handle with this. Right! Oh, hello there. Oh, hiya, Chief. Oof. I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Now everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you and your client as well. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Sorry, did I? Uh, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. Favor? <laughs> Melons. Yeah, I, I I saw that too. Do you mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe him, of owe my current job to him. It's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. Smile. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over! Okay, okay, yes. My life! Everything! It's all over! Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death! Despair! Oh my god, this will be interesting. I'm gonna- I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! To what? Sounds like he wants to die. Uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> what? Nick! But okay. Hey, hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. No, 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 no. This is not how this works. You're not guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. Are you sure about that? I mean, we could do that, you know, but I don't know. If this is what a lawyer, a defendant, a, a, a defender, I don't know, an, an attorney should do? What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I'm finished. Finished. This game, dude. I'm five seconds in and I'm like, wow, this is like a JoJo Bizarre Adventures episode. Cool. I like that. I can't live in the world without her. I can't. Who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick. You gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Oh. Huh. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspaper say it was you. <gasps> Why did the newspaper tell lies? My name is Phoenix Wright. No, my name is Ustra. Yeah, it's okay. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. This looks not simple. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was an unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. 
Okay, my best friends since grade school. Yeah, he looks very friendly. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. Okay. In this, in the second, 23rd years I've known him, it's, us, it, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say though, it's unusually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. Okay. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do. That's what's up. Yeah, easy. Tell him. August 3rd, 10 a.m. District Court. Okay. Well, I guess we're here now. Slam. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, your honor. Pain. I, okay. The uh, defense is ready, your honor. Um, Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? N yes, your honor. I'm uh, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Oh no, no. Oh no, it's like first class again. Let's go. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> and shaken, eyesight fading. <laughs> Come on, Phoenix, you can do it. The test will consist. Of a few simple questions, answer them clearly and concisely. Sorry. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. The defendant. The defendant. Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Okay. The thing is, I'm learning English now with this too. <laughs> I didn't study for this. <laughs> I'm learning English yet now too, so this is perfect. If I d do something wrong, please don't tell me. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me what's the victim's name. Who? And now this one. Let I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... wait. Uh, oh. No, no way, I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the victim. Oh, of course I know the victim's name. I uh, just forgot, temporarily. I think I feel a, a migraine coming, to, coming on. Oh no. Look, the victim's name is listed on the court record. Just press tab. Yeah, I just press tab on my controller. Thanks. Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Oh, right, right button. Okay. Sydney. Ah, here we go. Sydney Stone, age 22. Let's go. Uh, the victim's name is Sidney Stone. He's like, yeah, you're right, dude. You you know what you know what's coming. Correct. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was hit with a blonde object. We saw that in the cutscene. I didn't, you know. She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. You answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. Yeah. Cinder block, yeah, it's cinder. <laughs> it, it's cinder block, yes. She seems much more. Re you seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Okay. It's not good to be relaxed, I guess. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. <laughs> well then. First, a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? 
The murder weapon uh, was the statue of uh, the thinker. Is this important? It's a it's a blunt object. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court is, accepts accepts its it into evidence. Okay, good, good. Ah, okay, I see. The statue of the, the statue of the shape of the thinker. It's rather heavy. Statue added to the court record. Hmm, right. It's me. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Oh, don't worry. I can, you know, throw pencils if I have to. Rip my shirt off. I have ammunition for days. I have these guns. You tap to check the court record frequently. Okay, good. Snap. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call the first witness. Oh, now it's getting interesting. The prosecution called the defendant. Yes, Mr. Butts to the stand. Oh, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get the chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Her boobs are bigger than her head. Yeah, this is po yes. And I don't see a problem with that, so... <laughs> no objections allowed now. No objection. I, I can't see that clearly, clearly. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh, oh, Larry gets excited easily. Could be bad. Ah, oh, look at his smug face. Oh, he, he twitched. He, his face twitched. I was about to say, look at his smug face. Um, Mr. Butts. Is it not true that the victim had recently bumped you? What? I didn't know that. Hey, watch it, buddy. <laughs> I can't, I can't play this game. I can't play this game. The, <laughs> the faces are so good. What's happening? Why is he looking like that? He's, is he embarrassed? Is this, is this, is his embarrassed face? Oh, God. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet. Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. What? Ah, uh, didn't they all die? I wasn't dumb, dumbed. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me ever. What's it for to you anyway? Hmm. Hello, Calypso. Nice to see you, Mr. Butts. What do you describe as generally, generally, what we mean by dumbed? Okay. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. How did he know that? She's dead. She, she's dead. How he, did he know that she has other men? He's sus. He's sus. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. Oh, he and he's not and he and he's not like on charge here? What do you mean, one of them? Lies! All of it lies! I don't believe a word of it! Okay. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on the 30th of heaven. <laughs> the day before the murder. Ah. Hmm, indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude! No way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that he had several sugar daddies. Is this what I'm reading right now? She had several sugar daddies? <laughs> Damn! This game is legit. Daddy's sugar? Yeah. I see that too. Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. And other things, I guess. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude. We can clearly see what kind of woman this Mrs. Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Buzz, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. 
Yeah, Larry was has a way of ru running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I stop him from answering? <laughs> I just punched my table. <laughs> Good. <laughs> my client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question this that question is irrelevant to the case. Is this so? <laughs> ah, my my table smacking is um is intimidating him. Good. Good. As it used to be. Good table smack. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? The cheating she dog. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shish 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 shish. You shush. You shush now. I'm gonna die. I just gotta drop dead. Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. This is not good. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quiet. Oh god, he talked too much. Oh boy, so not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Ah, well, did you or did you not? Eh, <laughs> well, maybe I did, and maybe I didn't while well, sleek. Oh, he went. What do I do? Have him answer honestly. Yeah, have him answer honestly. Fuck it. I know, I sent him a signal. <laughs> By smacking the table. Tell the truth! Uh, yeah, yeah, I was there. I went. Yeah, why should you not do that? Like, why should you deny? Like, why should you lying? This is not good. Order! Well, Mr. Buzz? Dude, chill. She wasn't home, man, so, like, I didn't see her. Wasn't his objection? Oh, he has a higher voice than I imagined. To honor the de to honor the defendant is lying. Oh. <laughs> Straight at a distant end, bitch. <laughs> oh boy. Lying. The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Buzz is lying. Oh, witnesses. Let's go. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery, he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. This is... Order! Order in the court! Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, your honor. This is bad. Yeah, I had no idea that they like you know, prepared for that case. I'm sitting here and sweating. This is all I do. Like, I'm smacking the table, sweating, and they have all these, like, they, they talk to people beforehand and they have all this super good shit, like, you know, witnesses and all kinds of crap. Yo, Yoshi, nice to see you around. And I'm, like, sitting here in court, smacking tables and sweating. This is all I do. Good. <laughs> On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawwood to the stand. He was what? With newspapers? Mr. Sawwood, you sell newspaper subscription. Is this correct? Oh, oh yes, newspapers, yes. Oh no. Mr. Sawwood, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness testimony. Okay, let's... This seems a bond. Purple acting sus. <laughs> I know. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing that apartment. Oh, it's Mickey Mouse again. Oh, God damn it. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Is that so? Oh, I see. 
Maybe, okay. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving. Dead. I quilled in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Okay, this is interesting. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. Why don't knock on the neighbor's door? Huh. It was 1 p.m. I have to check my reports real quick. The time of death is between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. So this can't be, huh? The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Okay. Jackpot. Yo, thanks for the jackpot and the goat flip. Look at that goat get flipped. Get out of here, goat. Thank you so much for the two super goat flip. And uh, thanks again. I will add this to our new incentive coming up. It's, uh, you know, we hit the incentive for, thanks again. We hit the incentive for, um, for the Zelda games. And now we are going with the next incentive will be like Persona 5, the Royal. And I add this to there. So yeah, thank you again. Offices. Now we are, you know, doing this. Let's see. Um, courtroom sisters. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? Can't defend you against a testimony like that. Yo, you can. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Good question, judge. He He's doing all the work. Your honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Was there a blackout in the building? Oh, this is why you don't knock on the neighbor's door, huh? Aren't foes supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, your honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Shawwood used was one of those. Your honor. I have a record of the blackout for your puzzle. Blackout record. Electrici electricity to Mrs. Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Okay, so... Okay. Now, Mr. Wright. Oh. Given that sup away. God damn! I will write that down too. God damn. Thank you again, Windel. Wow! Yeah, thank you so much! Love push to both of you, you know, David, David, David need. David need, like, heroic emotes. <laughs> he need that, thanks so much. Appreciate your help. Yes, er, uh, yes, your honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Yeah, this is what I want. Your honor? All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Why is he getting like... <clears throat> All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why? You exposed the lies in the testimony of the, the witness just gave. Wow. Lies? What? He was lying. Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in this testimony. Or is your client really guilty? Yeah, maybe. <gasps> no. How do I prove he's not? Yeah, no, he has a she has a deep voice because she was serious now. She's like, look at her face. You hold the key. This is the evidence. It's the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a con contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's te testimony. Then. Once you've found the contraction every yeah, 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 yeah. Present it and drop it in the witness's face. Rub it. Okay, I do that. <laughs> oh, she has a face. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
open the court record with tab then point out contradict yeah 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 don't tutorial me melon don't tutorial me melons what's your actual name I can't press that. I can't press that. But I can press the... <laughs> Dead. So present this, I guess. It's, it's how I do it, right? Yeah, okay. Mia, basically melon. Okay, Mia, okay. You found the body at 1 p.m., you're sure? Yeah, you sleek fuck. Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Yeah, I smacked the table. In concern. And confusion. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement. <laughs> the freaking movement, I can't play this game. This is so good. Like, I, I, I really enjoy this. Like, for real. Like, I don't know if I can read it good uh, because of my English. Um, but the game itself, like, look at all the details in this. This is awesome. This is really good. And the, I don't know, the, the I don't know, they don't hold back with what they say, like Sugar Daddy and all that crap. I, I really, I, I'm really enjoying this so far. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at sometimes after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, uh, no body to find at 1 p.m. Heh, <laughs> a little graveyard humor here, huh? <laughs> How do you explain this three hour gap? Oh, I, I, I got him. Now he's sweating. Oh, that. Oh, uh, uh. Whoa, you again? This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. No, 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 no. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Yeah, I find that hard to believe too. Mr. Sawwit, why were you so certain that you find the body at 1 p.m.? I, er, well, I, gee, that's a real good question. <laughs> I know. Great job, Ryan. Why did you put him to on the spot? Okay, that's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies see through one and their whole story falls apart yeah i know thanks melons damn wait i remember now would you care to give your testimony again so he's changing stuff now the time of discovery i'm okay you see when i found the body i heard the time i heard the time there was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. She can't do that. There is no, like, electricity right now. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly war uh, sorry about the misunderstanding. You little sleek fuck. Hmm... I see. You heard a voice saying the time on the taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. You know, point out the obvious. Right. You know what to do. Yeah, thanks, Melons. I know. <laughs> God damn it. How do I do it? Coming from the television. Can I not just do this? Bam, and... Present it, fuck it, yeah. Hold it right there! The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time from the discovery. And this report record proves it. Yeah, you not going anywhere. Yeah, I smacked that table. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. <laughs> okay. Ah! Hi, well, huh? The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawwit? Just jail him. Just put him to jail. Execute him. He's a liar. Don't he don't belong here. No, I I find it quite puzzling myself. C quiet. Duh. Wait, I remember now, Mr. Sawwit. 
the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your cre credibility. Yes. That. And you seem rather... distraught. Yeah, I can feel that. I don't know what this means, but yes. My, my apologies, your honor. It, er, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sawwood. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Is this just basically tutorial stuff? No, oh, okay, thanks. Hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. Oh my god. You, you, yeah, okay. You did, yeah. yeah. Did, 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 you, did you ever open your eyes once? Yes, not. There was a table clock in the apartment. Wasn't there in the apartment? But you said you didn't enter it. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. What? 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 You saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. The, de the defense may cross-examine the witness. What? What? Hearing the time. I saw it. You see, like, saying that the murder weapon has something to do with time? There was a table clock in the apartment. In the apartment, wasn't there? Can I not press this? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. Can I just pre present this? Yeah. Wait just a moment. Yeah, I smacked that table again. <laughs> they have to change all the tables in this room when I'm done here. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was his statue. Now, how is it supposed to be a clock? Well, you... You with your objections and your evidence, just who do you think you are? You know, I'm the one who do, who does this in the court? I don't know. Just answer the question, Mr. Shawit. Hey, I, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look as it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it I submitted it as a statue, my my apologies. Huh. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness testimony was correct. This is Clock. Do you have any problems with his testimony now? Yes! Your Honor, there is a gaping hole. Yeah, I see that. Balance, cover that. Uh, in, in the witness testimony. Sorry. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hands. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. See? Yeah, smack that table again. Clearly a contradiction. That table likes to be smacked. The table likes to be... The, 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 the table is like... I don't know. I have... An, the, oh, whip me harder. Indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because... Went into the apartment, clearly. The lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh, and he has, he has false hair too. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Prove it. Prove I went in there. I smacked the table again. <laughs> That's proof enough. I do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. Wow, I'm like leaning out of the window here, like <laughs> very far out of the window. You struck her with the clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Yeah. Smack, order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. The case is like clearing itself. Cool. Mr. Sawwit, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Oh. Understandable. Since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim, that voice was burned into your mind. 
That's why you were so certain about the time. What's the meaning of this? Yeah, good question. This is all baseless conject con conjecture? I guess. Baseless? Just look at the victim's face. A witness's face, sorry. <laughs> look at him. Would you witness uh, care to elaborate? <laughs> He's stunned, yeah. Did you strike the victim with the clock? Is this a question? Can you have to- do you have to answer this? I feel like you don't have to answer this. Like, you can just like, oh, 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 clock. And you're good. I, I, that the day I never- Look, I, the clock. <laughs> what? what? What's going on? I hit no, I saw. <sighs> Did he throw his hair in my face? Excuse me? Can we execute this man now? Can we feed him to rats or something? Uh, some, you have to do... This is no. J no. Judge? Fuck him. Fuck this man. Please. I hate you. It was him, I tell you. I saw him. You losing something. Get hairballed. Blech. He killed her. Maybe, oh, see, there is still hair on his head. Maybe this was his, like, not false hair. So maybe he pulled out his entire hair, his scalp, to throw... Yeah, it's okay. He killed her and he ch should burn. Give him death. Okay, good, cool. Smack that. Order in the court. He, the judge and I, he, we are the smackers in this, you know. We are the, the, real, the real men in this court, like, smacking things. Good. Your honor. A moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Yeah. Mr. Wright, your honor. You claim the sound of witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I better think it through carefully. No, your honor. The sound Mr. Sawit heard was definitely this clock. The fact which is clear if you simply try sounding the clock okay okay shush 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 the neighbors will not examine the clock's batteries why try sounding the clock let's sound the clock now here in this court your honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court to listen very carefully. Keep. I think it is. Age 25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Yeah. I will. I want to know that too, Mr. Payne. Can you tell me what time is it now? It's 11:25. Oh, so it's like three-hour gap. It's the three-hour gap. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely, the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit. Try to talk your way out of this one. Yeah. <sighs> you forgot one thing. Huh? What's he talking about now? While it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. Why not? How do you know it was running three hours slower on the day of the murder? Can you just... Why is he the one defending himself now? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. He's right. How am I going to to prove that? Damn it, I was so close. Mr. the right. It seems you lack uh, uh, the critical evidence to support your claim. Just to execute this man. He lied to the court. And he was clearly in the apartment. He clearly heard this freaking clock. Execute him. It's no use to go b b even further. 
Yes, your honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately, damn. This ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Sorbet. Are you sure about that? I come all the way down here to testify and look what happens. You threat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are... Are like all... Are all slime. Sorry. Urgh, I almost had him. Yeah, I almost had him. What? There's nothing I can do about it now. Break his, break his legs. Torture him. <laughs> He's clearly the one. That's the first, Mr. Sawwit. Yeah, Melons, give it to him. Melons, I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Uh, well, yes. Okay. But that doesn't mean you can still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. She brought... She brought the... Thinker in Paris and the time gap between... I don't know where they are right now and Paris are three hours. Right, right. Can you think of a reason as why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes. Wait. Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claims beyond a doubt. <laughs> Tough words. Let's let's see you pull this one off. Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. Oh. Oh, okay. No, 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 it has, it has batteries, so it's not the blackout, it's this. Take yeah, take that, bitch. Yeah, I smack that table in confidence. Huh. Huh. The victim had just re returned home from abo aboard the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Pan Paris is nine hours. Yeah, we know that, right? When it's 4 p.m. here... It's 1 a.m. the next day there. Oh, this is the three hour gap then, huh? The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. There in Japan? Okay. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit? Or, or should I say... Mr. Did it. <laughs> got, got him, guys. <laughs> got, got him. Judge. Balance, huh? Got him. What? <laughs> God, don't do that in court. Oh, he dead. He dead. He dead. Order. Order, I say. No, we need to do it in ambulance, I guess. He dead. Now he has rabies. <laughs> he, and now he gets eaten by rats. Good. This case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Yeah, we need one guy who like drove himself, uh, drove himself into madness and into despair and into confess, confess the murder. Easy. Mr. Payne, your witness, dead. He, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away. Your honor. Oh, this is easy. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, your honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. Yeah, I am too. 
I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, your honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. Okay, yeah, this is good to know. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they have this. They have a confetti machine inside the courtroom. Why not? Why shouldn't you have one? <laughs> like, <laughs> as we all know, this is Japan. And with that, this court, yeah, is, you know, get lost. Get lost, it's over. It turns out that Frank Sawit was a common burglar. He, he posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house that day. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. Oh, okay. I don't know what the dirty work is. While he was searching her place, the victim returns. Flooded. Flustered. Sorry. Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Smacked. This is brutal. August 3rd. 232. Phew! I still can't believe we won. Ha! Huh, melons! Uh, right! Good job in there! Congratulations! Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all! You fought your own battle in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. Oh. Am I satisfying now? This is good. It this is good. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. Yeah, I guess she's satisfied. Let's move on. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry, Larry must feel. Oh, no. My life is over. <laughs> Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? I need to check something about melons. Oh, Nick, don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good. Uh, wait, no! I mean, bad, 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 bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy Windy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a. Never mind. Bitch! 400, 807 entries? No. What? What did? What is? What is? What is that? What is that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to. Know that. Congratulations, Harry. Who's Harry? Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Bud's innocent. Who's Harry? Hey, yo, oh, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner, movie, my thread. My treat. Sorry. Oh, no. I couldn't. Hi, I was the one who... Got you off the hook. Oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a present. Oh, yeah, the murder weapon. I take that. A present? For me? Wait. Wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? Y you made this? Well, thank you. I keep it as a memento. Yeah, this is not weird at all. I guess. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And and she was just playing me for fool. Don't that make you just want to cry? Larry. Are you so sure? Excuse me. What? I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Uh, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing. Really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? I don't know. Do I? I don't think that proves who she felt about him. Huh? Oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about?
<laughs> Take that! <laughs> Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some shump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever, she probably just needed the clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make it with what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really? I oh, am. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> all the emotions. <laughs> Hope that made him feel a little better. Yeah, I... Was this episode one? Right. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Yeah, sorry. Although, hopefully you realized things change depending on how you look at them. People too. Why is this in black screen? We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right. Listen. <laughs> Listen right. <laughs> Take this yo-yo. Your uncle was adopted. God damn it. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Yo, Tancred. Redeem it. Well, I think your work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Good to see you, Tancred. Say, how about dinner? On me? We'll drink a toast to innocent buds. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a law was because of him. Oh uh, yeah, part at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks. I uh, she's. And so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, "Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends." But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave me. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. Uh oh. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry. Would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Huh. This sounds mysterious. The end. <laughs> 